All right, so let's go ahead and select these objects again. And once I get all of eight of these, when I go to modify, right, it'll show eight. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go and grab the texture for this. That's the tower diffuse. And we're just going to drop that on. And here I've got quite a few textures here. And some of them you can see aren't even showing up. Um, just gl visual glitch. So we're just going to do these one at a time. So we're going to start with the fence post. We'll go ahead and uh, we could do each one of these individually or selecting them all at once and doing them. But it's all kind of the same. So here we'll get our UV. Let's go ahead. Um, oh. It didn't. Oh, yeah, because it, it only let us drag on the one object. So let's go into Material Editor. M for Material Editor. We're going to get the eyedropper, and I'm going to select the one that it took the texture on that I dragged onto. And you can see, here it is. So if I delete the modifier, so if I select all these other objects again, I'm just going to right click on the material and assign material to selection. And it already has show shaded in the viewport. We're also going to click show realistic as well. We'll close that out. So now we're getting kind of uh, close here. So we'll go ahead and start with our fence post, which is just about on. So we'll go ahead and unwrap the fence post here. Get our map to show, and you can kind of see what's going on here. You can do F4 if you want to see what it looks like. So we're just going to take this and scale it down, and I'm going to put it right here for now. And this is the bottom, so I'll just go ahead and put it in the same spot. May not even need that, may delete it later because I kind of forgot, but that's okay. And then if we wanted some rougher wood here, we can bring it over here and put it in this rougher wood. And we get a little bit... I'm not a big fan of this texture for this, but for right now... We could use that, or we could use uh, the wood grains that are over here. Either way. So currently my texture is not updated for the wood grains on some parts, so it's uh, fuzzy details right now. Get that updated later. So we can go ahead and collapse that, hold yes. I'm going to select the doors and the windows here all at once, and we're just going to UV those. The key is, after we're done, to collapse the unwrap. So, of course, let's turn on ignore back facing just in case, although these are only planes. Get our UV editor. Polygon mode. Of course, we just need to go ahead and put these in place. Get our freeform mode. And we'll just line these up. I'm not a big fan of this door so far. It's supposed to be a medieval door, but I may change that one out too. There we go. And let's go ahead and take these uh, two windows here and duplicate those. And We're going to call this one 
small metal uh, window. Just want to be able to find it if you know duplicating it. So we're going to texture these two differently. So this one. I'm going to do window big metal, or we could do MTL, a lot of different things we can do. I'm going to select these two and put unwrap on them, turn off ignore back facing, open up our UV editor. And for these ones, whoops. Just want to get the uh, get these metal bars here. Looks good. And then we right click, collapse to hold yes. Right, so we want to make sure that those are saved in. There's no unwrap on any of the objects. Usually at this point, before you start duplicating, I'd want to make sure your names are consistent and clear uh, before we start duplicating. So that way you get a good solid idea and be able to find your stuff. Now we have a tool up here, uh, find by name or press H. And you can see all of our stuff that we've named here. So when we start duplicating, we'll know where our doors are and all that as well. So now we can take a look at our wood pieces. So let's go ahead and select all three wood beams here. And we'll put unwrap on those. Turn off ignore back facing. And let's open up our UV editor here. So of course the ends of the board here, we want to select all of those and move them over. I should have, yeah, some of them all, looks like, a, looks like they got moved or something. So if you click one, let's see if it saved our group. We could say select group. Yeah, it didn't save our groups for right now. But anyway, that's fine can put this in the middle here and we're just going to scale this up put this in the area there we go the key here is this is a rectangle this is a square right we want them to just be somewhat accurately placed and all of these are all set um, we have a slight problem with some of these boards this particular board is really big and this particular one just barely fits and we get some of the brick on it so what we can do here is i can just take these two polygons and i'm going to go ahead and just break them off and then that'll separate them, and then I'm just going to move it over on top. All right, same thing for this. I'm going to select these two polygons of the board, and under Explode, we're going to break them off and then move them over. So I'm going to then select this and drag this back over. Fits nicely. Um, I might put it right where the highlight highlight is in the board. You can kind of see, sort of. I'm not going to get all of them necessarily. Uh, I'm going to have to select these and do freeze so I can click this last one. Oh, yeah, a little loner down here. Oh, several of them. There we go. I'll go ahead and scale this one up and put it somewhere. There we go. I think that's good. Just get a little bit of detail on it just in case if we need that. can freeze these so I can select them again. Maybe I'll make them bigger. In fact, I could just put them over here too. All right. All 
And last but not least, we want to go ahead and take our unwrap and collapse it. You can leave the UV editor open because oops, it'll it'll be fine. So we just do collapse to hold yes. And we are good to go. Let's see. So this is its own object. This, the text you can see is bold. So this one is actually an instance. So let's go ahead and right click and do make unique. And so now it's just its own object. It's not a, and this one is good to go to. All right, so now we are set up for the next part.